Um, from a quality and infection control standpoint, again, you know, we want to make sure that our patients have the highest quality of care. And part of that is their personal comfort, their hygiene. So again, if there's a patient that um, is describing they're needing to have some immediate elimination needs, they of course can press the call button to do that, but then also you know communicate that to their virtual nurse and again get someone in uh, more immediately. Um, again, from the quality standpoint, having that additional set of eyes on them to make sure that you know patients aren't doing anything that maybe is unsafe for them, in particular with the falls. Um, you know, even if there are some social situations that are taking place in the room, um, we have actually had things escalated of that nature as well. Yes, we were one of the first health systems to go live uh, with that virtual platform. Again, you know, the technology is very new, um, and I just think that it's amazing and very unique that um, they describe it even as them having a virtual hospital. Um, so we have been able to share that with some other organizations um, within the quality realm as well as with nursing leaders and executives to share that, you know, this is something additional at conferences um, and everyone is usually so impressed um, with that technology and that we've been able to implement it in the midst of a pandemic, <laughs> which again, you know, I think has been very positive. Um, and, you know, I definitely anticipate that there will be more organizations that will be able to do that. Um, obviously, there's a big financial component to that. So I think it says a lot for our organization to commit to patient safety and that innovative technology, um, you know, even during these times, but it, it's been very helpful. Going back to that quality piece as well, you know, um, with the PPE, the staffing shortages, um, again, it has saved time with staff having to go into the room, especially those that have um, infectious or communicable diseases. They can still have that level of observation without having someone um, necessarily go directly into the room. Um, we've done the hourly rounding, you know, definitely try to keep up with that with our volume and staffing changes and again the virtual platform has been something that's been able to assist with that.